Strychnine poisoning, though relatively uncommon, remains a significant concern in the medical field. This powerful toxin, primarily found in pesticides and rodenticides, poses a severe threat to both humans and animals. Strychnine semen, also known as ma qianzi in traditional Chinese medicine, is a herb that can cause strychnine poisoning. Healthcare professionals must be skilled in identifying and treating strychnine poisoning due to its rapid onset and high mortality rate. Mechanism of Action Strychnine exerts its toxic effects through a complex interaction with the central nervous system. It acts as an antagonist to glycine and acetylcholine receptors, with a particular affinity for motor nerve fibers in the spinal cord. By inhibiting glycine, which is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the spinal cord and brainstem, strychnine effectively removes the brakes on neuronal firing. This leads to uncontrolled stimulation of neurons, resulting in the characteristic involuntary and often painful muscle contractions associated with strychnine poisoning. Understanding this mechanism is key to comprehending the symptoms and developing effective treatment strategies. Signs and Symptoms The onset of strychnine poisoning symptoms is typically rapid, usually occurring within 15 to 60 minutes after ingestion. This quick progression underscores the importance of prompt recognition and intervention. The hallmark signs of strychnine poisoning include severe muscle spasms and rigidity, often accompanied by seizures. Rhesus sardonicus is a sustained facial muscle contraction that creates a grimace. Trismus is clenching of teeth and epistatonic posturing refers to arching of the back. Uniquely, patients often remain conscious during these seizures a phenomenon sometimes referred to as awake seizures. Other key indicators include respiratory distress due to the involvement of respiratory muscles, heightened sensitivity to various stimuli, hyperesthesia, rhabdomyolysis, and autonomic symptoms such as tachycardia and hypertension. Patients may also experience severe agitation and anxiety often describing a sense of impending doom. The combination and severity of these symptoms can vary, but their rapid onset and progression are characteristic of strychnine toxicity. Emergency Management When faced with a suspected case of strychnine poisoning, emergency management follows a structured approach. The first priority is always to stabilize the patient, focusing on the ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. Given the risk of respiratory failure, Intubation may be necessary to secure the airway. Controlling seizures is the next critical step, typically achieved with benzodiazepines such as diazepam. These medications not only address the seizures, but also help manage the severe muscle spasms. Decontamination methods such as activated charcoal or gastric lavage may be considered, though their efficacy in strychnine poisoning is debated and they should be used cautiously if at all. Supportive care forms the backbone of ongoing management, including intravenous fluid administration, careful electrolyte monitoring, and temperature regulation. This comprehensive approach aims to address both the immediate symptoms of poisoning and potential complications like rhabdomyolysis and metabolic acidosis. Diagnosis Diagnosing strychnine poisoning relies heavily on a thorough patient history and clinical presentation. Healthcare professionals should be particularly alert to any potential exposure to rodenticides, pesticides, traditional Chinese medicine containing ma qianzi, or contaminated food sources. The characteristic pattern of symptoms, especially the presence of conscious seizures and severe muscle rigidity, can be strong indicators. However, it's important to note that definitive diagnosis often requires toxicological analysis, which may not be immediately available in emergency situations. Therefore, treatment decisions are often based on clinical suspicion and presentation. Prognosis and Complications The prognosis for strychnine poisoning largely depends on the timeliness and appropriateness of treatment. With prompt and effective management, many patients can recover fully. However, the severity of poisoning, underlying health conditions, and the ingested dose all play crucial roles in determining outcomes. Potential long-term complications can be significant. 
These may include aspiration pneumonia, a risk heightened by respiratory distress, and impaired airway protection during the acute phase. Rhabdomyolysis, resulting from severe muscle contractions, can lead to kidney damage if not properly managed. In severe cases, patients may suffer from permanent neurological deficits, underscoring the importance of rapid and effective intervention. Prevention Strategies Preventing strychnine poisoning is a shared responsibility that extends beyond the healthcare setting. Public education plays a crucial role in mitigating risks. Key prevention strategies include promoting the safe storage of pesticides and rodenticides, emphasizing the importance of keeping these substances in clearly labeled containers and out of reach of children and animals. Proper disposal methods for strychnine-containing products should be advocated to prevent accidental exposure. Additionally, healthcare professionals can play a vital role in promoting safer alternatives for pest control, helping to reduce the overall prevalence of strychnine in household and agricultural settings. Take-home message. Strychnine poisoning, though uncommon, presents a serious and potentially fatal threat. Healthcare professionals must be equipped to diagnose, treat, and prevent this condition. Understanding its mechanism, recognizing symptoms, and implementing timely interventions are essential for optimal patient outcomes. Public education and advocacy for safer alternatives can further reduce the incidence of strychnine poisoning. Question number one. What is the hallmark symptom of strychnine poisoning? The correct answer is B. The hallmark symptoms of strychnine poisoning are muscle spasms and rigidity. Question number two. Which of the following is not a typical sign of strychnine poisoning? The correct answer is C. The typical signs of strychnine poisoning include rhesus sardonicus, opisthotonus, hyperesthesia, rhabdomyolysis, and awake seizures. Question number three. The primary treatment for strychnine poisoning involves. The correct answer is C. The primary treatment for strychnine poisoning involves benzodiazepine and airway management. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.